Hello and welcome to our orchid lantern workshop here at Al's Garden and Home. There are several orchids around me. Uh, we have a Phalaenopsis here, which is kind of your classic orchid. This is also a Dendrobium orchid. We have a lady slipper. And then the one orchid that we will be doing in the project will be the Dendrobium orchid. This is a mini Dendrobium, and this one specifically is called the mini snowflake. We're also using a microchip in the uh, orchid lantern project. There's about a thousand different varieties of Dendrobium orchids. So dendrobium comes from the Greek words dendros, which is tree, and bios, which is life. And that refers to the epiphytic style that they are, which means that they hang on to the sides of trees up in the canopy. And they're not parasitic, they just hang out there and receive the rainwater that comes tripling down the trees um, and don't hurt the trees in any way at all. They come from um, subtropical to tropical Asia, the South Pacific Islands, and also Australia and New Guinea. Um, what we want to do to see what kind of light they need, a southern facing window would be great. A great trick to check to see if there's enough light in your room is to hold your hand um, between the light and your plant. Now you can see this right here is very filtered light. You can't really see the outline of my hand on the plant. So this isn't enough light for this plant. This plant is going to need a more sharp shadow. So you'll want to put it in the southern window where the brighter light comes in. And if you can see the shadow of your hand more defined on your plant, than that's a perfect spot for them. Another trick with your orchids is a lot of times people, they think that they found the right spot for it and then it's not very happy and then they wanna move it. Um, really just leave them put. If you find the right light conditions and the right humidity conditions, leave it be because they grow on trees and those trees aren't gonna move around all year long. So you wanna keep them in a nice happy spot. As far as watering is concerned, they like a big drink of water so they're nice and soaked and moist. And then they do like to get a little bit dried out. We've had a lot of people asking if you know the ice cube tr trick is the way to go. Don't do that. Um, we don't recommend it at all because these plants, again, grow in trees, grow in the subtropical regions. They get a big drink of water when it rains and then it dries out a little bit. An ice cube just kind of gives like a little bit of water, a little bit of water, a little bit of water, and they're just not getting enough um, in enough time. So the best uh, growing medium for a dendrobium is to either mount them on say a plaque or a piece of wood or something like that, or just simply uh, put them in a basket with sphagnum moss or like what we're doing today, which is the Kokodama style. This here is the sphagnum moss and it does come in pretty large blocks, but you can break it up and use it over time and it dries great. So it stores really, really well. Okay, so this is our kit for the orchid lantern. Um, as you know, we've boxed them up and kitted them, so we're gonna actually do a little unboxing here and see what we've got with our supplies. And let's open, and there is our lantern. And it has everything we need inside of it. We have, I'm gonna turn it around. We have our moss here. We have our twine, and we have our rocks. And then this is our happy little orchid. Let's see if I can get them out of here. Ta-da! Okay, so there's really only a few steps to this project. The first thing we're going to do is take out our rocks. And these rocks are really just a stabilize the lantern and keep it nice and in one place and also help keep our orchid standing up once we put it in its little moss ball. It's gonna be noisy. The next thing you're going to do is take out your moss. This moss here is already moistened a bit, but you may receive your moss in a dry form and you'll need to re-wet it. So just get a little bowl of water like this and it's super simple. You just take your moss and you dunk it in the water, let it sit until it soaks up enough of the water that it's more malleable like this. And then squeeze it out. You don't want it to be completely soaked. So it'll just make a mess. And then you'll take your moss and make a cute little pancake here. And 
Next, we will take out our orchid. Here's our cute little, this one is the microchip because you see its little spots, dendrobium. This is the twine that we'll be using uh, a little bit later to help secure the moss around the orchid. You take our little orchid out and you'll probably lose some of the medium that the orchid was in. Don't worry about that. Um, also, don't really try and pull the medium out of there, the bark chips that are, that are in there. You might even, if you lose some of that, might even put a little more moss in between. But you're just going to set this little guy down in his nest and then wrap the sides up and around. And I think I have too much moss here, so I'm gonna take a little bit out. You don't need all of the moss. We gave you more than you need, just to cover all the bases. Kind of squish it together. If you have someone else doing this project with you, sometimes it's helpful to have them hold on to the moss while you do this next part. And the next part is to take the twine And you will take the twine and we're going to wrap it around the moss to secure it to the root ball of the orchid. And wrapping and wrapping and go up and over and under and around. And if you have any air roots that are sticking up out of the top, that's totally fine. They don't need to be covered. Again, they're air roots. They like to grow on trees, so you don't need to um, make sure that they're all wrapped in under there. They like the fresh air and they need a little bit of um, air to go through their roots. And then once you have a nice cute little ball that you're happy with, you can also, it's moss and it's nice and wet so you can kind of form it a little bit the way you like. You can either find the other tail and tie it together. If you know any cool knots, that would, now would be the time to show off. I don't know any cool knots. Maybe some macrame knots would be pretty neat in there. Tie it off and you can hide the tails if you have little tails or you can cut them off if you want to. And then you have your little kokodama. Ta-da! And then easy peasy, last step. Make a little hole in your rocks. Place your cute new little baby in there. And there is the orchid lantern. Now some of these rocks came out. You can add them back in to help stabilize a little bit and then find a nice south facing window or an area with bright indirect light. Don't put it right in the sun, that'll burn its little leaves. The moss is nice and moist, but I would give it a good drink of water uh, before you set it into your orchid lantern so that it has, it starts off on the right foot. So dunk him, leave him in there for mm, five minutes or so, and then take it out, shake it, maybe squeeze it a little bit, put it back in here. You don't want it to sit in standing water. They don't like wet toes, but they do like moist moss. And the moss does dry quickly and sometimes it's hard to get it to re-absorb um, water. So next time it needs to be watered, which is probably maybe in the next week, give it another drunk dunk, leave it in there for five minutes, shake it out, put it back in and you're good to go. So if you would like to fertilize your dendrobium or you have other orchids at home that you're wanting to repot or take care of, here at Owls we carry all the things that you need for your orchids. We have the repotting mix, we have bark if you'd like to use that. We also have the fertilizer. The fertilizer that you'll want to get is one that is evenly spaced across. So this one's a 20-20-20. Um, and you'll want to do that. The rule of thumb is weekly, weekly. So every week, Give it a diluted amount of fertilizer during its growth period and you will have very, very happy plants. Uh, we also have carry the moss, we carry pebbles, um, we, we carry it all.